What kind of secrets do you have? Oh! Like an entire dragon kind of secret! What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red and in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at some of the best user generated levels yet. I know I say that probably most episodes, I'm always trying to outdo myself in these videos, but today a lot of the levels have been like super hyped up by other YouTubers, by you guys in the comments, by the workshop, so I'm really hoping that they live up to the hype. Our first level is called Bikini Bottom, and I haven't watched a whole lot of Spongebob, so if there are some references here that I don't necessarily get, I apologize, like the uh, dancing pirate at the bus stop, or the smoking guy. That might be more Paint the Town Red stuff rather than Spongebob stuff, but like, even all this stuff is just made out of like baseball bats and uh, and cue balls. What are these? Yeah, baseball bats and geometric shapes. It, it blows my mind what people can create in this game. Okay, I do know that he lives in a pineapple under the sea, Spongebob Squarepants, so we could just go visit a random guy with an open vest and no shirt. So which of you two are Spongebob? Because you're both kind of square, but uh, neither of you look a whole lot like him. Oh, look, there's a <laughs> another shirtless vest twin. Oh my god, they actually made his snail. Uh, Gary, Gary the snail, right? That is amazing. I think it comes down to the fact that I've seen the level creator in this game, right? You would see that in a game, you'd think that's not particularly good, but the fact that somebody could actually build that out of random little shapes in the super limited creator of this game is just really impressive. Okay, is this Squidward? Are you Squidward? You actually look kind of like him. It wasn't for the eye patch. Let's go into his house. Are you here, Squidward? I don't know if any of these guys are Squidward. Sitting down watching TV. Oh, he has a... Uh, the Squidward art of himself. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and his clarinet right next to his music stand. <laughs> that is unbelievable. There's a fridge and a kitchen and stuff like that. Okay, can we go visit Patrick? Patrick is the one that everybody loves, right? I love Patrick. Can I not get into his house? He lives under a rock. They made his weather main out of baseball bats and weights. No, I guess I can't get, uh, no, no, get away from Patrick. How dare you! Oh, come on, vest guy. I was trying to help Patrick out. You don't need to be like that. <laughs> Man, you see a crime going down in Bikini Bottom, and you lodge a bottle into somebody's face, and then all of a sudden, you're public enemy number one. What is going on over here? Who is... Where the giant pirate come from? Who are they fighting right now? I'm really confused. Okay, you know what? I'll get my two cents in. My two cents being with a baseball bat. Get out of here, SpongeBob! They're completely uninterested in me. This is a very strange level to be fighting in, but I still enjoy it. Okay, you know what? Why don't we shockwave? And then, uh, oh my god, you are quite the burly pirate, aren't you, Red Beard? <laughs> you didn't take kindly to my shockwave. Okay, there's another pirate gangbang going on over there. Where did all these people come from? Right, we saw like five. They must have all poured out of Patrick's house, right, when I wasn't looking. I don't know how I'm gonna manage to kill that guy. He, like, you need stabby weapons, and they don't do a whole lot if they're just blunt force. That's a one-shot kill. Good to know. Sorry, Patrick, I want to take a look around. I want to see where all these pirates come from. Maybe they come out of the ceiling. I can't go over there. There's an invisible wall. There's a couple of guys back here just hanging out. That's solid. Are they hiding behind this rock? No, there's another invisible wall here. Where do they come from? I'm so, okay, what if we do this? What if we hit you with a bat? And then just, oh, they just appear. Oh, oh yeah, they super just appear. <laughs> it's like pirate World War Three going on right now. All right, well, oh yeah, look at that. They all have different uh, clothes. We have the brown gang versus the black gang by the looks of it, clothing wise, God. The way media is going today, somebody's gonna take that out of context and make me into a racist. I'm kinda tempted to just sit back and let them slap each other around a little bit because they're doing a great job. The big guys seem to be cutting down the little guys, but uh, I should probably chip in. Okay, how about we take down the big guy right here, huh? How about you? Okay, nope. He's after me. Take this bat and take this bat. Oh, that killed him. There we go, now we're talking. It only takes a couple of baseball bats thrown at your face to get the job done. So, if I just start chopping 
there we go. Now, ah, uh, that did not last nearly long enough. Oh my God, I caught that. That was pretty badass. Now I'm just gonna start shinking people in the back. It's a pirate shiv for me. Yar her, yar her, a pirate shiv for me. <laughs> it's like I said, I haven't seen a whole lot of SpongeBob, but I definitely don't remember the part where the streets run red with the blood of pirates, but you know what? Far be it for me to say something is or isn't canon. I just want Smite so I can finish everybody off. There we go, I'll take another pirate shiv, and then, oh, down boys, down, no. They do a lot of damage. I think the, da oh wow, okay. Damage is definitely ramped up in this one. <laughs> I almost just died to a couple little knife swings. That's ridiculous. Smite ready, okay, let's line everybody up. And then there we go, I definitely need to get Redbeard. You need to go down. I don't even know if it's gonna kill him, but we can get the guys with the knives first, I think. All right, is that gonna kill you? No, okay, you can have another shot, maybe. I don't think I could shoot the same guy twice. There we go, shot him again. Please, please die, please die, everybody die. <laughs> Does that kill him? Two, two isn't enough, two smites. Zeus, help a brother out. Three, okay, is that SpongeBob? I'm pretty sure that was the guy that was sitting in his house. <laughs> I'm sorry, SpongeBob, I've decapitated you. It wasn't my fault, I need more baseball bats. I'm running a little low on bats. This guy, I was gonna say, refuses to go down, but there we go. Okay, now we're talking six left, five left. I see three, maybe four. You you die, you die. Okay, one, there's one left, there he is. Okay, you need to get berserked. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. To the face! Oh. There we go. Can I keep? Oh. So satisfying! And the exit is the bus stop. Okay. I can see why that was really highly rated. Very creative. I like it. This next level is actually pretty nostalgic. It's called Skyrim Dragon's Reach. And he actually went and recreated all of Dragon's Reach in Paint the Town Red. Like, just think of all the levels in Paint the Town Red that we have played where it's just people in like a floating empty void. And look at the detail that went into actually recreating this. Like, this is beyond necessary. This is just, uh, it's absurd. Look, he's got like chandeliers. And uh, we get the Jarl sitting up here on his throne, right? He's got the uh, dragon's head above him. They actually made a dragon head out of stuff and all the stupid henchmen around him. Okay, if that's the case, then over here should be the mage, right? This would be, yeah, his like saucy magic person that you would come speak to. And then on the other side was a kitchen. Yeah, okay. Stuff going on over here, banquety stuff. Like I haven't played Skyrim in five years, I wanna say easily, but I still remember so much of this so vividly, like spending so much time walking up all those stupid stairs. Throw something, I can't get through here. Invisible wall. Okay, throw something. Eh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, I I'm pretty sure the guy's name is Ocean Man. You are incredibly creative. Is there anything else behind all these doors? No, that's an empty void. So that's probably why I can't get over there. All right, oh wait. Shouldn't there be a place behind the throne, right? I would imagine, ooh, okay. I don't remember what's down there. Nothing that they want me to see, it looks like, but, uh, oops, sorry, 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 girl. <laughs> but up here, this was like his battle room, right? Wow, they actually used toothbrushes and stuff to recreate his little battle plans. Holy crap, okay, there's even like multiple floors and stuff like that. I don't even want to start a fight in here. Can I go through the door? Wait a minute, isn't this... Oh, it's not really a door. I was gonna say this leads to the balcony where you would uh, trap the dragon, right? Pretty sure. Okay, I'm probably gonna need a bat now to get things rolling. Okay, so what's in the basement? That's got me highly suspicious. How do we get this started? How about we just assassinate the Jarl? Can I, can I have your, uh, no, I can't have your ax, all right. I'm sorry, but I'm the Jarl now. Oh, he's a tough one. Go down, go down. Okay, I could ow, ow, ow. People don't take very kindly to you trying to kill their king. Wait a minute, you're the guard. Okay, that means I can go down here now. Ah, uh, what have we got? It's a dead end. Oh crap, oh it's got a lot of weapons though. Hi, hi, bad, 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 stop, stop, no, no. <laughs> I don't wanna be down here anymore. This isn't gonna end 
Well, yeah. If I'm going to assassinate the Jarl, then I need a stronger weapon. So I think there were a couple of doors down here that I didn't really explore too much, right? This was the thanks for playing door in here. Uh, anything? Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I can probably shish kebab him now. Secret? I like secrets. Can I just walk through this? No? Okay. Uh, well, I want this, but there we go. We're through. What kind of secrets do you have? Oh! Like an entire dragon kind of secret. Holy crap! It's like a dinosaur in a museum. Like, it's nothing but baseball bats and swords and, uh, pool cues. The teeth are, like, knuckles. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can see why this is a super highly rated level, but I can't be talking to the dragons all day I may be dragon born, but uh, I, right now I need to go assassinate a Jarl, so uh, he should be right over here Okay, and then watch out. Yep, that that worked real well. I even got that guy's arm as a bonus. I have friends I don't know why I have friends, but I'll take it. Maybe they're followers of the dragon born, right? I get the feeling they're gonna turn on me like they always do, but for now, I have friends! <laughs> and uh, the enemies are just, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're kind of doing that. Stop it, it's gross. Oh God, I'm shopping through some friends by accident, I think. This katana, oh, I was gonna say it's lasted me so long, I'm so proud of it. Stop that, stop it, stop hitting my friends. Where are you going with the chair, guy? Oh my God! <laughs> He just stone cold Steve Austin, that guy. Oh, and uh, he also has a spear in his face. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that that was much more of an issue than the chair. It's really convenient having everything made out of weapons because when I run out of a weapon, I could just grab a, a piece of a, I don't know, a, a railing? Yeah, sure, that'll work. And then beat down on somebody. Okay, we got Smite ready. This is like my third attempt at this, by the way, because the game gets a little bit laggy. I think that uh, there might be some issues with trying to make a level this pretty. There's just so many things in the world that it doesn't quite understand what to do. Okay, friend, I'm, I'm kicking swords all over the place. I'll take that over a bat. Do you want to do anything? We're, we're gonna, yeah, that's just a, a whole mess. What, what, whoa, what are you doing? You're looking at me a little funny with that sword. Don't nod at me. Ugh, I, I couldn't trust him. I love that the Jarl is still sitting here in many diced up pieces. <laughs> this is what started it all, and now I'm kicking heads all over the place. It's hard to find people. They're just kind of having their own little brawls all over the place. Oh, there we go. Only nine left. All right. We might actually be able to get through this, even though I might only be able to survive one more hit. So I need to be careful. Uh, stop doing that table. That's inappropriate. Six. All right. Five. Four, three, <laughs> baseball bat really satisfying. Two, uh, hello, take new baseball bat. There are baseball bats everywhere. <laughs> There's only two people left, where the hell are they? Um, are they in the quarters? Maybe they're enjoying some lone time, no? Huh, oh, you know what? I bet you it's the two generals, or not. They're not down in the dragon room, but I'll gladly take one of his ribs. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay, calm down. Swinging for the fences there, he almost finished me. There's the last guy. No, don't you, don't you dare. You almost ruined this for me. <laughs> Won't be needing that anymore. What a mess. Okay, yeah. You know, this was a really cool place, and uh, I feel a little bit bad for what I've done, but at the same time, you don't screw with the dragonborn, okay? They, they didn't get the near, oh my god. I didn't make the most obvious joke ever. Okay, I, I, it's not gonna have quite the same effect, but I feel it still needs to happen. Okay, ready? Fusrod! Ah! <laughs> yeah, not the same effect. God damn it! Overall, still a really cool level. I'm gonna say Ocean Man. I'm gonna keep an eye on him because he makes some really good stuff. This next level is called Cage Match for obvious reasons. Do I need to box with you because you look like a boxer and, uh, actually I don't know what I look like. I'm just arms with a orange shirt apparently. There aren't any weapons in here, are there? All right, you guys have drinks and stuff, but, uh, if I just mosey on out, you guys gonna care? Don't mind me. Don't, don't worry guys, the, the real, oh, the real fighter will be here any minute now. Get him, cops! <laughs> I'm gonna get a tire iron and, actually, you know what? I'm with the police. This was a sting operation. Everybody's going downtown, uh, in pieces. 
Stop getting up in the name of the law, sir. That's right, I have a nightstick, therefore I'm with the police. Or a baton, whatever people want to call it. I think Americans call it a baton, or the other way around. I don't know. Either way, the point being, I remember in the past people have been like, oh, he calls it that, that's so weird. I just don't remember which of the things it was. How about this? When the last person is left, I'll fist fight them, because I believe that's the spirit of this entire level, except uh, I know if I had punched that Russian boxer, then uh, you know everybody would have freaked out and I would have gotten worked in there, so I'll, I'll wait till it's a fair fight, till it's a genuine one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, th then we'll sort our beef out. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of life, though, and everybody is chasing me. Are there any more weapons in here? Oh, no. Get out of here, no, get out of here. This is my void, this is my turf. You're not allowed in. No, this is my rage cage. Berserk is ready. I could use that to fist fight somebody. That totally wouldn't be cheating, right? Eh, I might need to use it right now, to be honest. I'm cornered, I'm cornered, I'm cornered. We're screwed. Okay, yeah, you know what, Berserk time. Here we go, how about this? You just get wrecked. Sit down. I feel like the update in the game. I'm taking a lot more damage from punches and uh, the Berserk is going a little bit faster than I remember. I don't remember the colors being quite this purple as well, and I have a blue outline around me, so it feels like they've changed a couple of things. The little meaty cubes, though, still perfect. Money shot right in the face. Here, you want another money shot in your face? Oh, that went through you. That's not very fair. Here, money shot while you're on your back. That's the stuff, just like that. Smile for the camera. Oh, oh. finished him. I can't do it, there's just there's no weapons. I could try this level forever and it's just not going to work. So I figured I would return one more time and see what happens if I actually try to box with this guy, okay? So you guys better not jump in because that's not how boxing works, right? You're all here for a good fight. So we're gonna bow and then I'm gonna punch you in the nose, in the eye, sure, whatever. Oh, okay, just, I'm in and then I'm out. I'm in and then I'm out. It's just like the guy with the money shots earlier. Kick, yeah, this is mixed martial arts. That's why I'm not wearing any gloves. Kick, okay, this is, this is for some reason working. They have decided not to join in. I like it. I've never actually boxed in this game before. I can block, forgot about that. Okay, hold on, haymaker. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh. Oh my God, it's really difficult. The haymakers are bad. I'm trading blows with them. I don't want that. I want, I want short jabs. Every one of his punches are probably worth like 10 of mine. It's really hard to judge how well I'm doing. I can only take like two more. I did it! I did it! I am your champion! <laughs> Bonesaw is ready! <laughs> I mean, don't cheer too much, guys. I just murdered a man in front of you. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Do, do we, you want some mustache face? Yeah, you get in the ring with me. Bring it in here. Oh, who's up next? That's right, okay, now they all want a piece of me. I'm not doing this again. This final level is called Police versus Pirates, and I'm gonna guess that I'm a pirate, right? Because you guys are all looking at me with giant piratey smiley faces, so I'm gonna grab me a piratey weapon, and uh, ooh, no, you know what? I want the bigger one. There we go. And then we're gonna go kill ourselves some cops. Ooh, we're already killing ourselves some cops. I like that. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, there are so many pe- This is a multiplayer level, by the way. So, if uh, this goes incredibly wrong, that's why. <laughs> Try to explore a little bit first. Employees only, huh? Okay, that's probably a cop place. Employees only over here as well. The giant chef. That hat does not fit your head, sir. What if I go in here? Oh, okay. Employees only doesn't actually mean anything. That's cool. Oh, do we have a prisoner that I can help out? Oh, they don't like me in their armory. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do my best to take down them now with my giant piratey sword, yarr. Okay, mission accomplished. What do they got in here? They're clearly hiding something. Taser shotgun, that's what I was asking for. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's gotta be a shotgun in here somewhere. Boosh. Yes, I did it, I did it, pirate brethren. Raid their weapons. How does it feel to get tased, officers? I wonder, um, what my pirate brethren think? Oh no, you guys aren't my friends anymore? What happened? We were in it together. I went and stole their shotgun. It was cool. Now they all turned on me. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Whatever. I'll, I'll find my own way through life. Uh, ooh. I wonder what happened if I would uh, help these guys. Oh, of course they're not gonna help me. <laughs> There's 90 people in this level. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. It's like I said, it's a multiplayer level. You're supposed to play it with two or three people, but I think I can do it. I'm just now realizing that there's no music before the level begins and it causes this really eerie tension between everybody with their 
tiny little hats and giant v-neck shirts. <laughs> I'm really, uh, it's just, it's freaking me out. Okay, so we just need to kill you guys, right? So you can die and uh, you can die. Hopefully one shot. If I get the big guy, okay, one shot, I like that. There we go. I don't even want the shotgun yet. I don't want to waste this. Okay, wait. We can we can leave that there. We can come back for it. Get the shotgun before I get cornered in here. No, sir. I know you had your eyes on the shotgun, but it's mine. So just line up for me like ducks, guys. I want to use these shotgun shots to take down the big guys. Yeah, like that guy, because they're going to be tough to get later on. Um, okay. I can't handle this game today. One punch and it brings me down like a third of my health. It's absolutely ridiculous. People aren't even hitting me with weapons. They just sneak in a cheap shot when I'm not looking and all of a sudden I'm near death. So he says as he makes a guy's head explode with not even looking at him, but if I can just not trip over bodies as I go or people don't get glitched into the floor. <laughs> weapon, weapon please. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm done. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. I feel really bad trying to tackle a level and not beating it, but for some of them, I feel like if you've seen everything in the level, you guys know what the ending is gonna look like. I would rather spend the time in the episode showing you guys the super creative things like Bikini Bottom and Skyrim and even the cage match fight. I was really surprised that I could actually box a guy with no weapons and the crowd wouldn't jump in. Very cool. So if you guys have any recommendations for other levels, please leave them in the comments. I'm quickly running out. I saved these ones because I wanted to kind of have one big themed episode of stuff that people would recognize, but there, there isn't a whole lot being made that I know of, so I definitely need your guys' help. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.